What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 video for you and today I want to show you guys a rare enemy spawn and how you can get him. For those of you guys who remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Easter Egg from Borderlands 2, this is going to feel very familiar because if you remember there was this area in the sewers where you had to press uh, levers and things like that in a certain order. This is the exact same thing. So the enemy that we're looking for here is One Punch and in order to get him to spawn you need to press these buttons and pull levers and turn wheels in the right order in order to get him to spawn here's what you need to do first and foremost head to this part of the map right here this is where he's going to spawn he's kind of underground in like this uh subway tunnel system over here uh also along the same path there is another rare enemy spawn but i'll cover that in a different video just to make sure that there's no confusion here all right, in order to get this guy to spawn, first you want to push these in this order. Now, I've numbered these uh, left to right, and uh, it's pretty simple this way. So, first press number one, then press number four, then number five, then press number two twice. You'll drop the lever, then lift the lever back up, essentially. So, that's one, four, five, two, two. There might be a faster way to do this. But that's the way the Jolts dude found. And full credit goes to Jolts dude, by the way. I'm not trying to like steal his thunder. He's the one that found this first and foremost, then showed it to me in Lazy Data. So all credit goes to Jolts dude. Check him out if you haven't already. All right, so once you push those in the right order, you'll see all the TVs in the background light up. And then One Punch is going to come out. Now, One Punch lives up to his name. If you let him, he will One Punch kill you. Doesn't matter what level you are and what level he is. You can come in here with a maxed out level 50 with perfect you know, gear and everything. He's still going to One Punch you. It's just how his mechanics work. But at the same time, he's not that difficult to kill. Now, when you kill him, he has the chance to drop a rare legendary item called the one pump chump the red text on this thing says i swear that's never happened before and that's hilarious at level 13 the damage on this is 174 accuracy 89 percent handling 59 percent reload time 1.1 seconds fire rate 1.96 per second mag size of one but more on that in a second 1160 percent weapon damage 10% critical hit damage bonus plus 28% reload speed and this thing has a 50% chance to not consume ammo when fired now you combine that with some of the skills that some of the vault hunters have especially like Moe's who already has like skills that basically make her mag never ending this thing can be an absolute beast and as you can see from this footage even against higher level enemies this thing will still wreck if you're hitting your crits so is this gun worth getting hail to the yes this is a pretty easy farm and it will not take you very long to get this gun let me know down in the comment section below if you've gotten this guy to spawn using a different combination other than one four five two two but if you enjoyed this video please take a second hit that like button hit subscribe for more tap the bell icon to be notified anytime i post a new video i got a lot more coming up and uh, if you want to, check out a link in the description below. I'm going to try to make a playlist just for the rare enemy spawns because there are a lot of them in this game. So, you know, all those enemies that we've wanted to farm for years and years, we've got so many now that I don't even know where to start half the time. So check that playlist. That'll give you guys a good starting point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.